Welcome to the video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. This video I'm going to have a look at how well Windows 11 works on a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 400 and I'll give you our experiences using that and a Raspberry Pi 4 as well. And a couple of things I found to get this to work. I'm not going to talk about licensing, this is running in test mode and uh, so I don't want to get into the whole licensing thing but you can license it, with your, you can apply a license to it. And the download sources, I'm not going to leave a link to those but I'll give you some great resources you can use to, to find that stuff as well. And uh, there's no hacks or downloading anything from dodgy sites or anything like that. This is all downloaded directly from Microsoft. So I've got this working with a Raspberry Pi 4 and a Raspberry Pi 400. The only difference is 400. It's slightly faster clock speed and it's got this nice little case which is which uh, works really well. So I've tried it a few different ways and I'll tell you what worked for me. So I've been trying with the little micro SD card and applying images to that and I had very limited success with that. I was getting issues with the swap file being corrupted and it wouldn't work. In the end what I've got is an M2 SSD uh, which I'll show you the camera in a minute but you can see I've got it connected there and I've got that mounted in a USB 3 plug. So this is M2 SSD mounted onto a USB 3 plug which you can get off Amazon. So I think that the card costs about um, 40 quid and about 10 quid for the uh, little connector, the little adapter. So this is running an SSD on there and that made all the difference. As soon as I got that up and running, uh, it worked much better. And this is the 2 gig one which worked fine and that's the 4 gig. 4 gig works better. Um, now I've got the bars down here on the monitor, that I couldn't get the screen uh, working correctly when I came to record the video. Yesterday it was fine, so I've got a bit of work to do on that as well. So first of all I'll talk about, um, I'll give you some resources and how to get started with this and I'm going to test the performance. But the, the tool that I used in here is this um, project here. To get Raspberry, to get to Windows 10, it's designed for or Windows on a Raspberry, Fa, Raspberry Pi. Um, so it's worproject.ml, and this really is everything you need. So they have created a tool which you download and run on a Windows machine that um, allows you to apply an image to an SD card, a USB drive, or whatever you've got connected, or like a SSD like I've got there. So you run this tool, and uh, so you download the tool, run this tool, and you apply the image. What you need is the uh, install.wim file, which you get off the DVD of a Windows 10 installation. Uh, there is no Windows 11 media available at the moment. There will be, I'm sure, in the future, and then you'll get the WIM that. What you need as well is the ARM64 version of Windows 11, which is what I'm running on here. And... Um, which I can talk about a bit more in a moment on the video. So you need to go to this site, or for me, I went to this site, downloaded this tool, which I got running on Surface, and then you need the Windows image. Now they don't supply the images, but they do give you some resources on how you can get these image files. So I use this uupdump.net, which gets them directly from Microsoft, so it's not a it's not an untrusted location. They come from Microsoft, and that is how I got um, the I've had to the ISO down. Uh, it builds an ISO for you. Uh, and the install WIM file is on the ISO, which so you can mount the ISO, you can find that file, and then you can use their tool to apply that image to the SSD. So that, that when you boot your Pi off the SSD, it goes to the first run experience of Windows 11. So that's what I've got running on here now. W Windows 11 first run experience. Now most things are working. There's I've got the start menu with all the curves on like that. You might notice that. Um, so you might notice that um, some of the edges, like here, are square edges and not curved like they should be in Windows 11. That's because this is using a basic display driver. Um, the tool that I mentioned, this uh, from this site here, adds the Raspberry Pi drivers to the image so that they're pre-built, so they're pre-installed on you. But one of the things that it doesn't have easy advanced display drivers, so that's you 
that's the limitation you get with this is that uh, you, you've not got that so like for, for example the widgets looks slightly doesn't have that tra nice translucent experience in experience but it does look good now in terms of performance it actually is working really well I've got the latest build on the latest Windows Insider build on here I'm just going to fire up task manager and uh, just there's a little tool that's available as well for the Raspberry Pi that shows you here the some system information so you can see I'm running here Pi 400 4 gig of RAM uh, I've got the CPU temperature and my window build so this is the latest Windows Insider build of Windows 10 um, so here you can see on the performance uh, it's not hitting the drive hard when I was using the SSD the micro SD card before that actually was hurting the performance because it was constantly maxed out because it wasn't fast enough this is working fine on here you can see it's using 3.9 gig of memory as well or 2.9 gig of memory on there so I think yeah the, the 4 gig watt pi is better as well and you see it's fairly low CPU usage on here um, so it, the Windows Store is working um, and you can see that it it's it's surprisingly smooth actually and quick so there's the Windows Store and all the Action Center flyouts work you see there's with even they have the curve Bluetooth works as well Wi-Fi works I'm on the LAN but um, Action Center with the notifications works and like I mentioned Windows widgets works so I can do the Raspberry key pi key which is the same as the windows key and bring that up as well so the performance of it is pretty good you see i was even using edge browser as well and um, that is working fine as well so i've installed some x86 applications as well i've got a midi controller which i got, got from windows store which works and i've got that working with a, a usb midi controller which works fine it's got class compliant driver so that worked i've even got some things like um screen recorder and i did install power dvd um so power director as well which is a video editing tool i've not activated that yet so i'll do a bit more testing with that so edge browser works works pretty well as well so we're using the 64 the arm 64 versions of that as well and you can you can actually go into the details tab here and we can have a look at what's running you see i'm running the arm versions of all my processes edge i've also installed the arm version of office on here as well and uh, i found some resources that I needed to get that and again it's directly from microsoft and uh, office works pretty well in here so you can see it load up okay it may be a bit slow to load up there but um you know, it's not that bad and uh, you see once you've got the app open then it's pretty performant on the here and works pretty well so I've got the nice new version of office as well with the new the new style and look so as you can see so I've got open um, edge browser and I've got word open go back to the start menu and you see it, it all works really well Okay, so I've got the, the Raspberry Pi here, the Raspberry Pi 400. All oh, this will work perfectly well with the Raspberry Pi 4 as well. On the back of the Raspberry Pi 400, you've got network, USB 3, USB 2, micro, uh, sorry, uh, USB C for power, and micro HDMI. So I've used a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter. And like I said, my storage solution is an M2 SSD. So you've got here 240 gig one mounted on this little USB uh, adapter. Probably what I should get one, one with a little case on it. Maybe like a three three D printer case or something like that. A bit neater. Um, and it would be great if I could mount that somewhere inside, maybe or underneath like that. I can get a little USB cable to run around and stick that underneath out of the way like that. It does look a bit odd hanging out the back like that, but it it works and it works really well. So, like I said, I could just transfer this straight into this Raspberry Pi 4 and that would boot the same image as well, which is pretty good as well. So I, don't, I can swap those over and um, I can stick a, a different drive in there. I could have a Windows 10 version if I wanted. I've got Linux, so you, you can have whatever you want. So that's my experience is running Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi 400. <laughs> Works pretty well, I'm surprised. We've got Office installed in there. We've got... Um, 
Edge browser. We've got UWP apps in there. We've got x86 emulation. Not bad for a little 60 odd quid computer. So it's definitely worth checking out and just like I said, it's not for production, but it's great for playing around with and a bit of experimentation. So uh, I'll include links to the sites that I talked about in the blog post and on the video that goes with this on the dishlife.com. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know and I'll give things a test.